From 220 miles above the Earth, cameras on the International Space Station captured views of Hurricane Igor on Sunday, September 12th, and again on Monday, September 13th, as the storm churned west across the Atlantic Ocean. On Sunday, Igor was packing winds of 105 miles an hour when the video was obtained at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, shortly before the storm increased in strength to a Category 4 hurricane with winds of up to 150 miles an hour. Again, this is video taken uh, by the cameras on the exterior of the International Space Station on Sunday as the station was flying over Hurricane Igor, at the time a Category 2 storm with 105 mile per hour winds. This video was taken at about 9.30 a.m. Central Time. This is a view from another camera on the station's exterior of uh, the Hurricane Igor as the station flew over it yesterday. Again, this was taken around 9.30 a.m. Central Time on Sunday. And at the time, the storm was a Category 2 hurricane with 105 mile per hour winds. And one more time, this is video of Hurricane Igor taking, taken yesterday around 9.30 a.m. Central Time. Igor strengthened not long after that to a Category 4 storm with 105 mile per hour winds and continues at this level now. As you can see, it grew quite a bit, as you can tell from uh, this video taken this morning. The station passed over the storm again just about an hour and a half ago, about um, 8.30 a.m. Central Time, as the station was passing over the northeast coast of South America. This is what the storm looked, at, looked like at that time. Again, it's now grown to a Category 4 storm with 150 mile per hour winds.
Once again, this video was taken a little more than an hour and a half ago now at about 8.30 a.m. Central Time as the station was flying over the northeast coast of South America. View of Hurricane Igor from about 220 miles up. Currently a Category 4 storm with 150 mile per hour winds. And one final view here from another uh, camera on the exterior of the International Space Station of Hurricane Igor as the station passed over it about an hour and a half ago at 8.30 a.m. Central Time.